it was indeed a very difficult decision making to select all of these words. The best way would be just to mix the works that are from private collections, so it is interesting not only to British um, public but also to Azeri uh, audience who can go to the museum and see Javad, but these works no one can actually see them. And from the State Museum uh, we decided to show the carpets that actually influenced the work of Javad. In the same concept, having uh, carpets uh, that are uh, from 18th and 19th century and um, Javad's work from private collections, it is a completely unique concept. What we did here, we placed, as you can see, in the first room we have carpets and then in the second room we have Javad. So you can actually go through the evolution of Azeri art. Uh, from ancient till modern and when you look at, at the carpets and those patterns that's what uh, inspired Javad very much. He was inspired by the patterns, he was inspired by the oriental motifs, he was inspired by the symbols and signs, hidden signs that he saw in those carpets and he wanted to show it in his work as well. When you look at Javad's work, you see these beasts and demons dancing in the darkness. So you, so you sort of think it's his own world, his own reality. But actually, it's not just a figment of his uh, wild and rich imagination. No, actually his work is very allegorical and it has a, a deep subtext and irony as well. His works are mirrors reflecting the scenes of modern society. Immorality, hypocrisy, uh, greed and so on. If you look at the main figure here, it's a, a bright giantess, let's say, who is dancing her magical and spiritual dance, and she's bigger than all other figures. And what I personally think, I think it's, it's him, it's Javad, who is too big for this world. I think he would enjoy it um, because he really suffered in Soviet Union. Uh, he was against the regime, as you know, he was against the acceptable, uh, the only acceptable artistic movement, socialist realism. He was against this all-consuming grayness that was happening in Soviet Union. And he felt like he was in this artistic and psychological embargo. We have lots of talented contemporary emerging artists in Azerbaijan and they exhibit around the world, they exhibit in London, uh, during the Buta festival, They're, they exhibit in states, everywhere. And that was something that Javad couldn't have done back then. And uh, today he would just really enjoy it and he could exhibit his works and just be appreciated by wider public.